Hey guys, welcome back to Black Rose TV NG. If you are new here, I am Rukai Muhammad Salesu and it is a great pleasure to have you. So do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and ring the notification bell as well to get notified when a new video is being uploaded. This is episode 3 of Mental Health Series and sadly, this is our final episode. So in this episode, I'll be talking about mental illnesses that we tend to overlook and how we can find solutions to them. Remember, I am not a professional or an expert, so corrections, suggestions, and also more information are always welcome. So drop them in the comment section so we can learn from one another. So we're going to start off with depression. Depression is a constant feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Depression is more than just a low mood. It is a serious condition that has an impact on both physical and mental health. It affects how a person thinks, feels, and acts. Depression interferes with our day-to-day -day activities. It can cause a person to feel sad, miserable, guilty, unhappy, frustrated, indecisive, disappointed, unable to concentrate, and lack of confidence. So the person tends to withdraw from close family or friends, stop the usual enjoyable activities, be tired of everything, have loss or change of appetite, weight loss or gain, and even suffer from sleeping problems. Depression occurs in both young and old, ranging from children, teenagers, and adults. Depression is real and is harmful to one's health if not tackled. Then we'll move to anxiety. Anxiety. Everyone experiences anxiety and fear at times. These are normal and helpful human emotions that help us deal with danger. However, some people experience excessive and irrational worries that become ongoing and distressing, which interferes with one's daily life activities. Symptoms of anxiety include 1. Panic attacks, which could be in the form of shortness of breath, dizziness, rapid heartbeat, choking, or nausea. 2. Physical anxiety reactions, example, trembling, sweating, fainting, difficulty in breathing. And then thirdly, avoid the avoidance behavior, when a person may go extreme to avoid situations that they think could bring anxiety or panic. Then we'll move to number three on our, on our item, which is paranoia. Paranoia is the irrational and persistent feeling that people are out to get you. Or one being a subject of persistent intrusive attention by others. This unfound mistrust by others can make it difficult for a person to function socially or have close relationships. A person who is paranoid may be easily offended, find it difficult to trust others, be overly suspicious, not be able to confide in anyone, assign half harmful meanings to other people's remarks, be hostile, aggressive, and argumentative, finding it difficult to forgive and forget. Moving on to number four, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This is a set of reactions that can develop in some people who have experienced or witnessed a traumatic event that threatens their life and safety. These events could be war-related events or torture, natural disasters such as flood, bushfire, physical or sexual assault, or even a car or any other form of serious accident. Anyone can develop PTSD following a traumatic event. People are at greater risk if Number one, the event involves physical or sexual assault. Number two, if they have had repeated traumatic experiences, example, living in war zones. Or number three, if they have suffered from PTSD in the past. A person with PTSD may encounter these difficulties. First, relieving the traumatic event through unwanted and reoccurring memories, flashbacks, or vivid nightmares. There may be Intense emotional or physical reactions when reminded of the event, including heart palpitations or panic attacks. Secondly, avoid reminders of the event such as thoughts, feelings, people, places, activities, or situations that bring back memories of the event. Thirdly, being overly alert, indicated by sleeping difficulties, irritability, lack of concentration, becoming easily startled, and constantly being on the lookout for for signs of danger. We have taken a look at a few selected mental illnesses that we overlook that we overlook their forms and even symptoms. 
Now we are moving on to the solutions and guess what? The ways to overcome these solutions, these illnesses, is somehow related since we are talking mental health. So I guarantee you it wouldn't be much of a big deal. To begin with, it is important to eat a healthy, balanced diet, exercise, and get a reasonable amount of sleep. All these things are part of mental balance that can help improve mental health. After that, talking to someone is another way of overcoming these mental illnesses. Talk to someone about how you feel. Are you depressed, anxious, paranoid, or have symptoms of PTSD? Find someone to talk to. Someone you feel safe and comfortable to talk to. Someone who is willing and able to listen to understand without judging or pointing fingers. It helps a lot when you let things out. Another helpful item on this is therapy. Therapy can help a person to cope and improve their mental ability in order to function. Medical treatment also makes symptoms more manageable. Managing symptoms include finding the right combination of medication. Healthcare providers can help in creating a treatment plan that helps one to manage the conditions. With this, we have come to the end of mental health series and I am looking forward to meeting you all in my next video. Remember, corrections, suggestions and more information are always welcome in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.